I've lived here 29 years. You run into people you know, you went to high school with, or people you work with. So that's the nice part. When you go get your hair cut, you know, you got the barbers here in downtown Forney. It still has that real uh, hometown. You can tell by tonight, everybody's just getting along. Uh, not a lot of police force, because it's uh, just families and friends and neighbors out here, so it's great. What made Forney different was that the whole town was committed to bringing somebody down to their downtown, to bringing life back to their downtown. What does commitment mean to a small business owner? What commitment means is not only assisting with the build outs, but working with the general contractors, working with the owners of the spaces, working with the city. We're becoming more than just a bedroom community. We're becoming an entertainment, a, a destination uh, for our region. Forney's unique in that everybody in town is on board. We moved here to Forney three years ago from Garland and um, moved here uh, looking for an old historic property. And this house was built in 1896. We're an old established community, well over 100 years old but we're a young community. Uh, average age is in the 30s. There are quite a few folks that still live here that grew up here, and they remember the Forney from the 60s and 70s and 80s. School spirit in Forney has always been super. I love the young people because they have young ideas, they're not stuck in, well, we've always done it this way and we can't, we can't break that law. Everybody understands the retail driver is the households, the number of rooftops, the number of people that are going to be able to support the establishment. Well, as more people come in, then we wind up having more people look at us, so it, it kind of feeds on itself. And we're really at that tipping point. When we were thinking about, you know, starting doing our demographics of uh, where we wanted to put our first location, we know that there wasn't any seafood here in, in town, so we said, well, no better place to put our first restaurant. That was one of the reasons why we wanted to focus here in Forney. How y'all doing over here? Everything okay, man? Good to see you again. We got some very faithful customers that come every week, and I say about 20% of them, we know they order. When Miss um, uh, Pearl come in, we know she gets two two-piece catfish baskets with an side of extra hush puppies for her nephew. Uh, and also, like, Mr. Robbie and uh, Mr. Pat, they come in. Both of them are the three-piece fish, six-shrimp basket. So then they come in faithfully every Friday night. I have a lot of friends in Dallas that said 40. You go to 40, the far, all the farmers. What's, what kind of business? You have a high-end crumb cake. What kind of business could you have in Forney? Well, you know, if you look at the demographics of Forney, it's only 25 minutes from downtown Dallas. 80% of the people who live in Forney are commuters. I'll give you a great example of how Forney is different. Forney brought us to a wonderful Victorian house and said, you'll love this house, it would work wonderful for you. Helped us negotiate our lease. When that fell through for a couple of reasons, Forney found us another space, the EDC. When the inspectors went in and said, we'll have to do some changes that are major changes in this space, the EDC actually moved out of their offices into that space and allowed us to move into their space. Now, where would you find a town that would ever do that? Never. But Forney did that because they are so intent on bringing life back to their downtown.